Pow! Guess who's back? I'm back with a brand new tutorial. That didn't rhyme, but it don't matter. What's good, people? It's David J. Cole, aka David, aka Mr. Photoshop Guru, aka I haven't made a tutorial in ages and I'm a prick and I'm sorry. Yeah. Reason being, I know I say this all the time, but my life is so hectic, and no exaggeration, I design all day, I work, I work, I work, and the last thing I want to be doing in my spare time is open Photoshop and make a tutorial. I know it's bad, I'm sorry, I'm lazy, it's just that life's been hectic, and I've been meaning to make a tutorial for ages, and this was requested quite by quite a few people, sorry, when I posted it on Twitter, and this is the actual template of the cimg.co.uk website to be... And I decided, you know what, let me just show you guys how to make a website like this. So it's basically a portfolio website, and it's really modern and really simple. You would be amazed how simple it is to make, like, really simple. It's literally, like, a few-minute work, but, like, it just I just want to show you guys so it can, like, get your imagination flowing, and, like, if you're trying to make a portfolio website, different techniques you can do in this and that. So... What you're going to want to do first is get your Space Invaders. As you can see in the corner, there are some Space Invaders. I will have a download link um, to the Space Invaders, personally made by me, so you can thank me later. Okay, and you're going to want yourself a picture of a nebula. This is a picture I bought from a image stock, whatever them websites are called. You can get yours anyhow where you can. Maybe even go outside and take a picture. I'm joking. I'm really scared that one of my viewers actually might try that. You can't see nebulas in the sky. But yes, let's start this off, shall we? I'm going to, you know what? First thing you want to do, once you have your picture of a nebula, chances are your nebula will be colored. You're not going to want that. You're going to want that black and white. So I'm going to go image adjustments, desaturate. Okay, bang. Black and white. You see that little trick? Black and white. So, now we have this. I'm quickly just going to see the image size of this. I'm going to, I'm actually going to start working on my nebula because the size is quite big and it can be easily scaled down easily later on if I need to, but it's a good size for the tutorial to be shown. So, the first thing you can see on the template is the Welcome Earthlings. Now, this looks very fancy, all this and that, but in fact, it is only a font. And the font is called, let me type out welcome, the font is called Lump. So I'm not sure how you guys are going to get it. I don't remember how I got it, but I got it. You know what I'm saying? And the color I'm using is actually D-A-D-A-D-A, -A -A, which is a light gray. And I'm just going to change it to the light gray. Press OK. And I'm just going to type in earth links as well okay just level it up a bit how did I level up there okie dokie like that and then I made the welcome much bigger bang bang there we go now I'm in a rush okay I'm not gonna do it perfect because I've done it before this is just to show you guys how it's done Second thing you'll notice is the Space Invaders. So I'm just going to drag my Space Invaders here. You can make your Space Invaders yourself, or you can download it with the link I'm going to provide. Um, I made these, as I said before, myself. Um, but it's a nice little resource to have. I mean, you guys can use it for whatever you want. So that is basically the foundation of our website. We have the background, we have everything. Now, if you can see here, we have the navigation now. The navigation is vital that it's a different font to your logo, to all this and that, so it stands out. As you can see, if I zoom in 100%, it just looks so much better if it's like different, you know what I'm trying to say? So I'm just going to type out home about contact portfolio star. Now I don't remember if that's what I wrote on this one. Yeah, it was actually. <laughs> but, yes, and I think the font was Helv... Blah, 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 I can't even pronounce it. Helv New Finn, okay? I'm not sure how you're going to get that font either. I don't, know, I don't remember how I got it, but I got it, so I recommend you to find it, okay? And a little tip is 
change the color of the portfolio. Now, it might sound silly or this and that, but you'll be shocked what difference it makes because it makes it stand out. If this is a portfolio website, the f you want it to be easily accessed to your portfolio. And as soon as like you go into this template, what's the first thing you see? You see portfolio, so the person's most likely to go and like click on the portfolio. He's going to know that this is a portfolio-based website without even reading any of this bullshit. Okay? So now we have this. To make the basic text error, it is really simple. What you do, you right click over here, click rectangle tool, and make a rectangle, okay? Bang, that easy. Um, the color is completely up to you. I'm going to pick the color of the pink, if I can zoom in nicely to one second. Let me zoom in. Oh dear, what have we done here? There we go. Just want to quickly steal this color. Okay. And we are going to make it that color. And then here's a little trick. Because the image in the background is black and white. So I should say black and gray because it's not really white. However, because it's black, gray, white, all this and that. Once you put a color in overlay mode, it makes this beautiful effect. The overlay colors in the image in the background. However, for me, this is a bit too strong. So therefore, I lower the opacity down to make it a desaturated look, and it just looks really good. Now, um, to make the little speech bubble, I literally made another little rectangle. Um, I click on my paintbrush tool, click, press OK, and as you can see, oh God, um, as you can see, it changed our shape into a normal layer. And all I'd done, I think, was get my pen tool, click, Oh god. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Fail, David. Click, click, click. Right, um, right click, mark selection, press OK, hit delete, deselect, and there we go. We have our own little speech little thing. And you just literally load opacity down to whatever the other one was. So in this case, it's 52. And there you have it. You have your own little little speech bar where you can like enter text or this and that and I'm not going to bother showing how to enter text because I'm assuming you guys know that if you don't then wow I don't know why you're watching this um, another thing I did in this template was um, add creative ice media group here because it's nice to know what the company is called always in the photography photography sorry portfolio website always have your copyright thing 2007 to 2010 CMG UK all rights reserved always have it it's just important to have you don't want no one nicking your work or oh, no this and that because yeah um, and I don't know really what else to show I will have links to the Space Invaders um, little download in the description below I'll have the name of all the fonts I'll have a list of everything you needed for this and you know what guys I'm gonna be really kind I'm gonna have a download link to the PSD of the template and you can mess around hit me up on Twitter and show me what you've done to it maybe you can improve it or this and that just please guys don't copy the work be creative do it yourself you know what I mean it's it's really nice like designing all this and that but don't call yourself a designer if you're copying other people's work because I've seen a couple of people completely like they hit me up on like Twitter and all this now. Like they asked me in the, my email as well and they asked for a PSD. And the nice person I am, I did give it to them. Month later down the line, I see it on their website, hardly changed at all. And I'm just thinking to myself, wow. I feel sorry for your clients in the future. But that's a different story, guys. Hope you learned something. Hope it got your creative juices flowing a little bit, I guess. Um, then again, if it hasn't, sorry, give me suggestions for tutorials because I haven't made one for so long. I'm not good at them anymore. So please do tell me what to, what you guys want to see. I can make anything in Photoshop. I just need some advice because, as I said before, I'm getting a bit sick and tired of Photoshop Illustrator, Dreamweaver, all of them. So yeah. Peace out, people. Follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe, comment all this and that, all that lovely stuff, keep safe, don't do drugs, have sex with a condom, and I'll see you later. Peace.